So, uh, this is a, a watch party. Yep. It's fun. Welcome to another exciting episode of The So-and-So Show. I'm Brandon. John. Huh? Oh, yeah, I'm John. Welcome. One and all. Hey, you okay? Me? Yeah. I just, I just feel a little down on the dumps is all. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, it, it happens from time to time for no reason. I mean, it, it could be the rain outside or... Oh. Ugh. Hey, do you want to take a break? We could do this later. No, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Look, I'll um, I'll try and cheer up a bit because I know no one tunes in to see a grumpy Gus. Oh, yeah. I know Gus. He is so grumpy. What are you talking about? No, I was nothing. Okay. Uh, here goes. Um. No, I got nothing. Maybe you should call someone or something. You know, that, you know what? That's that's a great idea. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll call gonna... an expert on joy. <laughs> a yeah. joy expert? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sure. Um. Oh, look! I uh, I found somebody here. Yeah, Felicity Crow. Just, I'll just, just yeah. I'll just give her a call. Yeah. Kids, never call someone you haven't met without your parents' permission. Oh, that's that's right. Um, can I call? Sure. Okay, cool. <clears throat> Hello, you have reached Adele Legance, expert on vowels A and A, or as the Americans say, A and A. How may I help you? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I think I dialed the wrong number. Who are you looking for? Oh, well, I'm looking for a joy expert named Felicity Crow. Yeah, I know, eh? Odd, please. Okay, I guess we just wait for Felicity to show up. Yeah. Ah! Woo! <laughs> Yay! Hey there! You've reached Felicity Crow, joy expert. How can I help you today? Yay! Uh, uh, my name is uh, John. And John! What a great name. It's so rare. <laughs> Yay! Woo! Ah, uh, thank you. Anyway, I've been down a little and I just wanted some help finding some joy. Well, congratulations! With the help of my foolproof method, we'll have a smile on your face in no time. Oh, 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 okay. Let's start simple, okay? First, take your index finger on each hand and hold them up next to your face like this. Okay. Now, place each index finger at the corner of your mouth like this. Okay. And when I say go, pull the corners of your mouth apart from each other like this. Ready? Uh. Go! <laughs> Doesn't that feel better? Not really. Oh, um, well, instead of just fingers, maybe you should use both hands. So place a hand on each cheek. Okay. And when I say go, pull them back like this. Got it? I don't think this go. is... Go! <laughs> Joy, look at that smile on your face. Is that a smile? I, I'm, I'm sorry, Felicity. I'm not sure smiling is working. Wait, wait, wait. Ow, okay. Wait, wait. I've got several other options. Do you have any clothespins? Clothespins? Uh, like these. I know what, no, we don't yeah. have any. Perfect. Now pinch the corners of your mouth mm -hmm. and pull. Oh, that seems painful. Are, are you going to demonstrate that for us, Felicity? <laughs> no. Oh. Wow, how does that feel? Ah! Take them off, take them off. Oh. I don't understand. 
Most of the time, these techniques bring a smile to everyone's face. Uh, yeah, and slight bruising. Yeah, I'm not sure that a smile is what's gonna work here. Okay, uh, one more try. Do you happen to have one of these? One of what? No, yeah. we... Excellent. Then put that in your mouth and you should have a permanent toothy grin on your face. Yay! Woo! Just look at that toothy grin! Everybody knows you're filled with joy when you flash those barely la Those caramel corn teeth. Caramel corn teeth? Uh, Off-white? Well, it looks like another satisfied customer. That'll be $100. I take oh. digital pay, crypto, cash, and diner's club. Okay. okay. Yay! <laughs> it was a pleasure doing business with you. And remember, I'm an expert on bringing happiness to all, or my name is Nadelle Lejean. I mean, Felicity Crow. Bye! You feeling better? No. And now my cheeks hurt. Yeah. Well, maybe this will help. It's Bible story time with Kellen! Hey, fellas, what's up? Hey, Kellen. Hi. Oh, were you playing that game where you try to understand each other while wearing a mouthpiece? No. Okay. Uh, to be honest, uh, John's been a little down today and he was trying to find some joy. Ah, uh, got it. Well, it just so happens, and it happens a lot, that I was going to talk about a really amazing piece of wisdom about joy from the Bible today. Mind if I go ahead? Please. Oh, what was that? Please. Peas? Please. He said please. Oh, right. Yes. Because answering peas would make no sense. Okay, so here we go. The verses I wanted to look at are found in the Old Testament in a book called Habakkuk. Habakkuk was a prophet of Israel and things were really bad there. People in Israel had forgotten about God and were fighting with each other. There wasn't much food, clothing was hard to come by, and not to mention their enemies, their enemies were surrounding them. Things were just really rough. But Habakkuk wrote something down that was really powerful. Here's what he wrote. The fig trees might not bud. The vines might not produce any grapes. The olive crop might fail. The fields might not produce any food. There might not be any sheep in the pens. There might not be any cattle in the barns. But I will still be glad because... Because he purchased joy in a box! Right. Wait, no. Hey, hey, what, what's going on here? Hey! Heyo, it's Looney Larry here with another amazing deal. Do you find yourself down in the dumps? Are you just a grumpy pants? Are things in your life making you sad? Well, have no fear. Looney Larry has a deal that will make you turn that frown upside down. <laughs> it's... Joy in a box! Order now and it'll bring you instant happiness, instant gratification, and instant meaning to all of life's troubles. And for an exclusive time, it's available for six easy payments of 92 difficult payments of $699 and 93 one and a half cents. Order now and we'll throw in this incredible members only card absolutely free. That's right, you'll be an exclusive member of what? I have no idea, but it should still make you feel good. So order now while supplies last. That's joy in a box because joy is just happiness that can be bought, eaten, or faked. Would I lie? Okay, wow. Um, first of all, Looney Larry is lying. You cannot find real joy in a box. No. If we want to find a way to have real joy when life is hard, I think we need to remember what Habakkuk realized. Let's finish that verse I was in the middle of. The fig trees might not bud. The vines might not produce any grapes. The olive crop might fail. The fields might not produce any food. 
There might not be any sheep in the pens. There might not be any cattle in the barns. But I will still be glad because of what the Lord has done. God, my Savior, fills me with joy. Habakkuk was going through a lot of rough stuff, and he was not okay with acting like it was okay. He was sad, maybe even a little worried about the future. But he did something powerful. He looked back at all the times God showed up, and he remembered that God is still in control. And when God is in control, there is always hope. Did someone say hope? Oh, man. Order Joy in a Box right now, and we'll throw in this lovely hope pendant. Absolutely at the price it was manufactured for. That's right, order Joy in a Box, and a small additional fee will get you this hope pendant. Joy and hope. Well, who could ask for more? Would I lie? Um, no. Listen, joy doesn't always look like a big smile or laughter. When bad things happen, it's okay to feel sad or to cry. Really, it is. But even when you're sad, joy can still be there. Joy is that thing that lets you know deep down in your heart that God can still do great things and that God can make something good come from what is hard now. You see, centuries after Habakkuk wrote these words down, Jesus, the Son of God, would show us this kind of joy. Jesus had moments where he was scared and he went through some really hard things, but Jesus was still able to find joy in knowing that God is always up to something good even if we can't see it. Does that make sense, fellas? Yeah, awesome stuff, Kellen. Yeah, so what you're saying is joy isn't just acting happy or finding a way to cheer up. Yeah, it's finding comfort from all the things God has done before and knowing that God is gonna do even more great things. Bingo, and that is so much more powerful than just being happy. You know, I, I do still feel down for some reason, but I feel a little better too. I, I got a bit of joy back in me. Thank you, Kellen. Hey, that ain't me, that's God. Well, if you excuse me, I need to make sure that Looney Larry isn't trying to sell those boxes of joy anywhere else. I'll catch you fellas later. Did someone say joy? No. No. <laughs> See you, Kellen. Yeah, bye, man. That was really good. Actually, it gave me an idea. An idea? Mm-hmm. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's a photo album of some pictures of us throughout the years. <laughs> ah, oh, yeah. how many years are we talking about here? <laughs> <coughs> yeah. Oh, ah, hey, ah, look at that. That's oh. a picture of us when we got all that mud dumped on our heads. I know, that was messy. Yeah, that was, let's see here. Oh, okay, this is a picture of one of the so-and-so players when he dumped that industrial-sized can of pork and beans on his head. <laughs> I that was actually kind of <laughs> gross. So. Mm, oh, and look, here's a picture of me pulling out my photo album to reminisce about all the cool things God has let me be a part How of. How did you, that had to have been taken just now. Yeah, a few moments ago. <laughs> How does it end up? Reveal the question! <laughs> What can you celebrate today? Oh, awesome question. Yeah. Oh, I know one. Go. I can celebrate all the memories I have made with you over the years doing so and so show. Oh, that's very cool, buddy. And I can celebrate that we'll get to do more shows together. Oh, yeah, that's a good one, too. How about you? Are there times in your past? Or your present. Uh, where you have seen God do something amazing? Yeah, think about it and share your thoughts with each other. What can you celebrate today? That's all the time we have. I'm John. I'm Brandon, and this was The, the So-and-So so -and -so show. show. Thanks, buddy. That's a really lot of dust. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm helping the guy editing, or girl. Females can be editors, too. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That was great. <laughs> You can take that out. Line <laughs> up the corners of your mouth. Uh huh. And pull. Ah! That is unpleasant. Um. <laughs> <laughs>
But I, and I don't think it's working no. as well as it no. should. I'm gonna take that onto your top lip. This is on then, my top lip? Yeah, and then tape the top lip to your forehead. Okay. As far as you can. Okay. What about the bottom? Yeah, sure. I'm feeling a little joy. I'm feeling a little right. joy right now, right. I'm not gonna lie. There you go. Out here? Yeah, 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 just right, yeah, there you go. Ah. I think this thing came off the top of Yeah, it does make me feel joyful now. Feel happy now? You look like a juicer. Not like <laughs> a... <laughs> <laughs> Will this turn on? No. Yeah.